Alrighty, how is it going folks? It's uh, X here again with Korean Ham Guy. Well, I'm not even sure if I should keep the ham title anymore because recently I've been more interested in these commercial area and commercial handhelds. Um, so I haven't been able to post a lot of videos lately because uh, I have had some bigger projects come along the way, uh, including what you're seeing in front of you here. Um, so I've, I've acquired a bunch of kind of commercial licenses here, which I clearly, well, I obviously can't share that frequency info because that will give away my name and my address because of the licensee on there and I'm not a business. So it'll show my license, uh, sorry, it'll show my address and my name, which I don't really feel comfortable sharing. But if you have any questions regarding commercial world, feel free to let me know. Today's video we're switching things up a little and I'll be doing an audio comparison between all of these microphones or these radios microphones. So um, without explaining too much how it'll happen, what I'll do is uh, I'll have a hair dryer, like a blow dryer, and then I'll point it towards the microphone of the radio and then I'll speak into it all at the same distance and this 7350E here is going to receive all analog transmissions and digital transmissions and then we'll compare what the audio quality sounds like on all of these. Alright, we have here a Baofeng. Unfortunately that one's broken but the microphone still works so we'll use it. Uh, we have an HD1, Alwyn's HD1. We have a Motorola CP100D and an XPR7550E, uh, X, just non-E. Um, CP100D has basic noise suppression enabled and XPR has the enhanced auto uh, noise suppression enabled because it has the feature enabled in the radio. Uh, receiving side we have a 7350A once again uh, which will be receiving just clear analog transmission with MDC enabled of course. Without too much wasting time here let's uh, let's get right oh almost forgot with the 7550 I'll also be testing one of these impress speaker microphones that uh, appears to be used in a lot of commercial agencies uh, or public safety uh, agencies as well um, these are really good uh, this microphone is the Papa Mike Mike November 4046 alpha so this is a great microphone. I currently, I'm currently using this um, for everything else I do, and uh, it's been working great. So we'll compare the audio quality of that as well. And supposedly it's wind porting, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Let's get right into it. All right, starting off the test here is UV5R with no noise added currently. I'll do clean tests first before I add some noise to the background. Once again, UV5R in analog mode. Next up, we have Alloyens HD1, the amateur dual band DMR radio. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two. Next up, we have Motorola CP100D DMR analog entry level commercial radio. And finally, XPR7550. Uh, this is without speaker mic, a uh, Moto Turbo Gen 2 subscriber unit. And I'll add my speaker mic here real quick. This is with the speaker microphone attached. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 75, 50 with speaker mic attached.
get all clean, no noise out of this one. CP100 clean, no noise out of digital. CP100 clean, no noise out of digital. This is XPR7550 digital, no noise out of XPR7550 digital, no noise out of. XPR7550 digital with the speaker mic, no noise out of. XPR7550 with the speaker mic, no noise out of. These are some absolutely shocking results. As you might have heard, none of the radios really survived under that condition. I mean, I was blowing the hairdryer directly into the microphone in all of the tests at the same distance because I have a rig set up that way in my bathroom just for this test and just so you guys can see how these radios perform. Um, the speaker mic and 7550 combo seem to have delivered the best result, meaning your voice was still audible and there, you know, it wasn't drowned out by the noise completely where these three radios, uh, I was completely incoherent. You couldn't even really hear my voice in the transmission. It was just pure noise where 7550 itself produced some extent of voice uh, where the speaker microphone absolutely killed it and um, pretty much reproduced my voice perfectly through the transmission under extremely harsh conditions. Like that was noise. If that's the radio and this is my face, the hairdryer, hairdryer was right beside my face blowing directly into the microphone. So that's absolute shocking results. By no means am I hating on these. I mean, even the Motorola entry-level radio failed. I, this is more of a demonstration of which radio would be <laughs> uh, would perform best in this type of situation. Of course, you're not going to encounter this type of situation all the time. You might encounter some minor noise where uh, even the entry-level radio will do just fine at blocking it out. But absolutely amazing with the 7550 and the speaker microphone combo uh, if you are looking to spend the money i absolutely suggest you get it um, the feature is right here uh, enhanced auto noise suppression i also have intelligent audio enabled and this is an impressed speaker microphone i'll just show you the model number right there once again and this is just a 7550 uh i'll show you my my firmware version just in case if you're curious and once again it's it, it is a beast it was an absolute beast performing under that condition and I think I would quite literally depend, you know, I would count on this to make the transmission clear and uh, efficient and effective all the time. Um, well, that's all for you folks today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll definitely have more videos coming up with the 7550. Um, I may have some videos with the 6000 series, not too sure, but I have a couple of 6000 series sitting around here as well. Um, definitely more videos with the HD1 as uh, there hasn't been a lot of recent reviews and there has been some recent challenges in the community 
for the Alloins HD1 users. So I'll try to address some of that issue and why you would have, why I recommend the radio and why I wouldn't recommend this radio, uh, along with all the other commercial handouts here for those of you in amateur world and commercial world like myself. Uh, if you're interested in commercial radios, uh, even for amateur use, uh, comment down below what type of video you would like to see. I could even do range check, uh, range test, um, or just just give me video ideas, and then I'll try to make it happen. Uh, anyhow, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.